on WGN Evening News at 4. A judge denies bond for one of the men charged in the murder of a seven-year-old girl at a McDonald's drive through earlier this month. We begin there this afternoon. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Thanks for joining us. 21-year-old Damon Gowdy faces first-degree murder charges, but he won't be released from jail anytime soon. WGN's Megan Dwyer is joining us now with what happened in court today. Yeah, Lourdes and Ben, uh, prosecutors say Gowdy opened fire at a McDonald's parking lot on a Sunday afternoon, not once, but twice, and he got caught in part because his friends posted a video of themselves on social media. Today in court, prosecutors revealed seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams was shot three times. She was in a tan infinity with tinted windows, sitting with her dad in a McDonald's drive through in Homan Square, April 18th. Adams died at Stroger Hospital. Her 29-year-old dad, Jonte Adams, survived. Today, a judge said there would be no bond for one of the alleged shooters, 21-year-old Damon Gowdy. Prosecutors say Gowdy sat in the front passenger seat before jumping out of his car to use a 40 caliber handgun to fire at the car with the child inside. Police found more than 40 shell casings at the scene. In denying bond today, the judge said Gowdy must stay locked up in order to ensure the safety of the public. He's already on bond for four separate offenses, including robbery and gun possession. The judge said if he shot up at McDonald's while he was on bond for other cases, he has already shown he can't comply with court rules. Court records show a judge put Gowdy on 24-hour home GPS monitoring for a strong arm robbery back in September, but a judge loosened those conditions in October so he could attend his brother's funeral. Today's bond court hearing had been postponed once. Gowdy's attorney tried to get it pushed back again today. She says she can't effectively represent him on Zoom and she wanted to be in the same room with him, but the judge denied her request. Police are still looking for the other shooter in this case, a man they say sat in the back seat and used a Draco AK-47 style gun with a banana clip and 7.62 caliber bullets. Prosecutors say they not only have surveillance video of the actual shooting, but of the three men at a BP gas station about two miles from the scene. Prosecutors say two hours before the shooting, the driver of the car uploaded a video of himself and the others inside of that car with guns to social media. Police know them and say they are all in the same gang. Prosecutors also say the car's driver, 18-year-old Marion Lewis, had threatened the child's father before. Police arrested Lewis after a car chase on the Eisenhower Expressway. Today, prosecutors said guns found in his car that day match guns used at the scene. This case will be back in court on May 19th. Gowdy is to have no contact with any witnesses or victims in this case in any, quote, way, shape, or form. Lourdes, Ben? Thanks, Megan. Okay. Well,